Okay, today we're going to be talking about a voice recognition chip that you can program without any computer skills because basically you speak the on words and the off words into a little microphone in real time and then from then on it remembers them. Now this is being sold as a lighting control thing so but we're going to use it for other stuff. So it has uh, pulse width modulated outputs for doing RGB lights and stuff like that. But it also has a regular output which swings high when it's on and swings low when it's off. You can speak in any language. I uh, imagine you could use tones. I'd like to test it with farts and burps and see if it can tell the difference. But I haven't got around to that yet. Now this particular vendor is selling them for $3.56 and we're looking at this vendor only because their documentation on the device is so much better. But just to show you, here's a vendor that's selling them for $2.28. They just don't give you the, this clarity of documentation that this vendor has. For example, let's uh, scroll up. This is a list of uh, word codes in English that are already programmed into the chip for lighting type functions. Um, most of them will work all of the time. Some of them only work within the first two or three minutes that have the do, yeah, I don't know if they had to do with timing or something like that. But we don't really care about any of that. Well, at least I don't. Maybe you care about that. What we really care about is the fact that you can record your own words in there to turn something on and to turn something off, which is, uh, means we can add it to our robots and our projects and that kind of stuff. I'll leave links to both of these vendors so you can look at all this documentation for yourself. This vendor even has a short video demonstrating how it uh, is hooked up and worked. And uh, more information on the power supply into it, you know, from 3.6 volts to 5 volts and stuff like that. All right, well, let's, um, let's get down to the one that finally arrived that I've been playing with. And it's been on this whole time I've been jabbering at you. This is the little device right here. It's really small. And that little thing dangling over here, that's the microphone that comes with it. And I've already soldered up a switch. You need a switch if you're going to program it. Uh, basically, you push the switch once, then speak the word, phrase, whatever, that you want it to turn something on. When Once it's done that, it'll blink the LED. Then you push the button twice and speak the word or phrase that you want to use for turning something off. Pretty simple. You've got your output line, which is this white wire, and then these are just the power supply lines. I'm just running it off of three AAA batteries, so four and a half volts. That's just a main switch. Like I say, it's already on. And I have a little white LED connected up with a current limiting resistor to ground, so we can tell when it goes high and when it goes low. And right now, I programmed it to say, uh, to respond, I believe if I remember right, Robot Hut on, and it turned on. Then Robot Hut stop, and it turned off. So let's see if we can remember uh, how to program this, and let's try a different phrase. Let's say uh, Electro Walk Forward, huh? So let's give this one push. Electro Walk Forward. And we'll give it two. Electro, stop walking. Now, I don't know if I did everything right or not, but we're going to find out. Electro, stop walking. Turned off. Electro, walk forward. Turned on. I did it right. So now you know how to program it. You've seen me change the program. It uh, maintains the program when there's no power. It's not an issue. And it, it does seem to remember, see for example, we're in the on position, so let's turn the power off. It seems to remember when it's been turned off and you come back later and turn it back on, that it was on when you turned it off. See how it's still on? Electro, stop walking. Now we got it turned off. Now let's turn the power off. So the power is off. Now I'll switch the power back on and it stayed off. So it's going to remember the last command that you gave it uh, when you power up and power down. So if it's important for you to have your device uh, when you turn things on to be in the off position, make sure your last command was for it to uh, be in the off position. 
but uh, super simple, no programming skills. Hardest part is this thing so dang small that you got to be able to get your little beady eyes down in there to solder <laughs> onto those connections, you know, to get your your battery power going in there and a programming switch between uh, pin three and ground. The microphone come, came with a separate little header that I had to solder on. You can actually unplug the microphone when you're done and not using it. Or perhaps you want to, well actually you need the microphone in there, don't you? So you don't ever want to unplug it, otherwise how is it going to recognize words that you're saying?